historic figures everyone should know. By History as Biography Marco Polo was a Venetian merchant and explorer who is best known for his travels through Asia and the Middle East during the 13th century. His journey took him from Europe to the court of Kublai Khan in China, and his accounts of his travels have been widely read and admired for centuries. Polo was born in 1254 in the city of Venice, Italy. His father, Niccolo Polo, was a wealthy merchant and his mother, Donata Badoer, was the daughter of a wealthy merchant. From an early age, Polo was exposed to the world of trade and commerce, and he accompanied his father and uncle on several business trips to the Middle East and Asia. In 1271, Polo and his father set out on a journey to the court of Kublai Khan, the ruler of the Mongol Empire. They traveled through the Middle East and Central Asia, and eventually reached the capital of the Mongol Empire, Kanbalik, modern-day Beijing. Polo spent the next 17 years in the court of Kublai Khan, serving as a diplomatic envoy and traveling throughout the empire. During his time in Asia, Polo encountered a wide variety of cultures and civilizations, and he recorded his observations in a book known as the Travels of Marco Polo. In this book, Polo described the customs, religions, and cultures of the people he encountered, as well as the natural wonders and technological innovations of the countries he visited. Polo's accounts of his travels were widely read and admired in Europe, and they played a key role in shaping European perceptions of Asia and the Middle East. His descriptions of the Mongol Empire were particularly influential, as they provided Europeans with their first detailed accounts of the vast and powerful empire that stretched across much of Asia. Despite his many accomplishments, Polo faced significant challenges during his lifetime. He was imprisoned in Genoa in 1298, and while in prison he dictated the story of his travels to a fellow prisoner. This book, known as the Book of Marco Polo, was widely circulated in Europe and helped to spread the story of Polo's travels to a wider audience. After his release from prison, Polo returned to Venice, where he lived out the remainder of his life. He died in 1324 at the age of 70, and his legacy as one of the greatest explorers and travelers of all time has lived on for centuries. Today, Polo is remembered as a pioneer of globalization and cultural exchange, and his travels have inspired countless other explorers and adventurers to follow in his footsteps. His accounts of his travels have also been widely studied and analyzed by historians, geographers, and anthropologists, and they continue to provide valuable insights into the history and culture of the societies he encountered.